Have you ever had the feeling you were being watched? It's not just you. Privacy is dead. Every day, our personal information is tracked, traced, scanned, and stored on the web and in real life. Someone, somewhere, is potentially watching and analyzing your movements at any given moment. I need to know if you have any rooms available. But you can do something about it. Coming up, you'll be in the driver's seat. You've got to be very careful, because all it takes is one mistake for you to undo all of your work. As you learn how to live under the radar, this can even check for cameras. Avoid the glare of Big Brother and become a ghost in a digital world. This is your life on Reset. And this is Track Me If You Can. In the 21st century, privacy is evaporating all around us. Every time we use the internet or a cell phone, we leave traces of ourselves, a digital footprint that anyone can access if they're smart enough. We're also being watched. 30 million surveillance cameras in the U.S. alone, shooting 4 billion hours of footage a week. Hackers, corporations, online criminals. If someone wanted to access your personal information, what would you do to stop them? Could you get rid of all the things that make you vulnerable to snooping, spying, and surveillance? Wipe the slate clean. Leave your past behind. Move to a new city. Even change your identity. My name is Aton Edwards, and I'm an expert in the field of emergency preparedness and self-reliance. For more than 20 years, I've taught people how to defend their privacy. And in the next hour, I'll share what I know with you. Your bags are packed. The car is ready. Your destination is a whole new life. It's time to hit the road. And go under the radar. All this may seem spur of the moment, but it isn't. You've been planning this for the past three months. And that's how long it's going to take for you to prepare for your new life. That means changing your appearance. Secret agents have a rule. Confidence in your disguise is more important than how elaborate it is. Choose a simple look and do it right before you leave. But before you do that, there's something even more critical the process of disconnecting. The average American is tracked by more than 200 databases. And your computer is your portal to the world. You need to close this door to unwanted intruders. Email accounts, terminated. Video memberships, closed out. Credit card and bank accounts, eliminated. Files, pictures, anything on your computer, trashed. But you do leave one thing active, your social networking sites. They reveal more intimate details about you than any other source, and it's your biggest vulnerability. But you can make it your biggest advantage. It's a classic spy trick, disinformation. You've planted the idea that you're traveling to Alaska when in fact it's the last place you intend to go. And you'll apply this tactic often. It's not enough to delete all of your personal information online. You have to destroy it. Computers store information even after it's been deleted. And there's only one way to make sure that no one can access it. You're gonna go hardcore on your hard drive. First, boil it in hot water just like you would an egg. Next, go caveman on it and smash it with a sledgehammer. Even then, you're still not safe. A shattered hard drive can be reconstructed. 
And that's why it's important to get your hands on an electromagnetic wand called a degausser. A degausser is essentially a super magnet that can change the magnetic field of a hard drive, rendering the drive unusable, unrecoverable, and unrecognizable. It's not just your computer files that you've made disappear. That's because your physical world reveals just as many secrets about you as your digital one. You've gotten rid of anything that can reveal information about your personal preferences or your spending habits. Books, trophies, photos, mementos, all erased from existence. These things offer windows into your world like your hobbies, your interests, places you've been and may return to again. But you've got to be careful because all it takes is one mistake for you to undo all of your work. Now, if I were a private eye, one of the first places that I'd look for information is inside of your trash can. It's an open book for your entire life. So even if you cleared out your entire house, one errant credit card statement can reveal important details about your life. And we're not just talking about your spending habits. Recently, 100 million credit cards were compromised during a massive breach at a New Jersey credit card processor. Cyber criminals with your card number can monitor your transactions as they happen by hacking into the data networks of these companies. And if they're tracking your purchases, they're tracking you. So ditch the plastic and be sure to shred all bills and statements. What you've got to do is you've got to shred the material first. And then after you shred it, you want to jumble it up, get some trash bags, take that material, separate, throw it away, and migrate the bags all over the place, put it in trash bins all over the city. This might sound like overkill to you, but it's not, because there's no such thing as overkill when you're flying under the radar. For this reason alone, you're going to have to give up the one thing in the 21st century that we all take for granted. Your cell phone. When you carry around a cell phone with your personal number, it's almost as if you have a giant arrow pointing out your location everywhere that you go. Cell phones are basically two-way radios that rely on towers or satellites to relay signals. If someone knows your number, your location can be pinpointed using triangulation, a tracking method that uses three cell phone towers to determine placement. It's not just the government that can access your cell phone. Anyone can track the movement of a cell phone through tracking websites, a popular feature among parents with teenagers. These websites require consent, but they can be hacked into if someone sends you a fake or misleading text message which turns on the tracking software. So watch out for mysterious or anonymous texts. Now every time you transmit a text message or you receive one, you could be activating an application that allows others to track your position on an online map. The simple solution would be to destroy your cell phone. Or you could employ an old stunt used to throw people off track. After deleting your phone's contacts, you can accidentally leave it at a bus stop or a train station. Another classic example of disinformation. If all goes as planned, a total stranger will pick it up and anyone intent on tracking you will follow the phone's signal.